Yo, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be opening up five mini tins. And as you can see, these are the celebration mini tins, which should come with three packs, two celebrations, and one main set. And I believe it's only Darkness of Blaze that you can get in the mini tins. We've done a video opening a case of these, so go check it out. Um, but the reason why I want to record this one, just a random five tin opening, because I've opened so many of these mini tins off camera. Like, we'll be doing live streams. I'll go grab two mini tins and do uh, opening. And we always get banging hits, but I've just been opening so many of these off camera. I believe about 30 mini tins off camera. I've been opening everything, like absolutely everything that I have on camera. But recently, I slowly started opening some stuff, and especially the mini tins, being that's a small product. I thought, let me just open one, there'll be another one, then there'll be another one, and I end up opening what, like 30 of them, like 300 in retail value. Uh, I pulled what two Charizards off camera from the mini tins as well. Well, one was on the live stream, so one of the live streams I did pull a Charizard from the mini tins, and then one time I pulled it off camera. But yeah, I, I just thought, why not just do a five tin opening? Had five tins left, and I thought, let's just put it on camera, stick it on the hard drive. So I have over like 300 videos on my hard drive. That's why I thought, uh, I'll just open some stuff off camera because otherwise it's just going to accumulate even more um because i have a lot of small openings got a lot of big openings but if i keep doing loads and loads of those small openings i probably won't end up uploading them unless the pools are banging so yeah i thought let's just do five tins if i get something good we get something good we can upload it if not then no because recently i used to not upload let's open this and talk um this is how i try and peel off the wrap but that's not working um what was i saying I can't remember what I was saying, but like, yeah, I've just been opening, especially the well, I think it started with Shining Fates. I just had so much Shining Fates content um, that I thought, oh, let me open some mini tins off camera. Let me open some VMAX boxes off camera. But these are what you get in here. Boom. And then, yeah, it just kind of accumulated to this where I've opened so much stuff off camera recently. Uh, hidden Fates, even a lot of Hidden Fates off camera. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this opening though. Uh, but luckily, I haven't pulled any Charizards from Shining Fates or Hidden Fates off camera. Always on camera, so that was a good thing. But the celebrations, I pulled two Charizards off camera, one on stream and one not on camera. But yeah, Flying Pikachu and Cosmonium. So yeah, when I started my channel, the reason I started it is because I wanted to document. Like every time I open, open some packs, it may be five packs, it might be ten packs. Just slap on the camera and just waffle it out like I'm doing now by flying Pikachu. I mean, just yeah, just document and then capture those moments when you do pull those awesome cards. And sometimes we can capture the moments when you don't get anything good as well. And yeah, it's just content. And look where we are. We have 10,000 subscribers just uploading what we would open usually. You know what I mean? Like I'm buying all this because I want to chase the cards. I buy it. Like you should have seen how many Hidden Fates tins I bought back when Hidden Fates released in 2019. I wish I did capture all that on camera. Uh, but let's see what we can get in today's video. But yeah, hopefully that kind of inspired you as well. Like if you're opening stuff, just slap up. You can even just put your iPhone there, do a reel. Like the, the YouTube shorts are banging at the moment. But boom, nothing there. So yeah, even if you um not opening loads you could do a one pack opening do it as a short but boom let's see we've got something here there's no need to do card trick let's go let's see what we got here we got lugia ho oh oh team magma's groudon and surfing pikachu this looks good i need to get keep more of these surfing pikachus in my collection is that a print line yeah it looks like a print line there so yeah i want to keep the best of the best ones in my collection but that last part kind of saved that one, I reckon, because we didn't get much before. But Team Magma's Groudon, I really love this card. It's very undervalued, so any Groudon collectors out there, just go buy these on eBay. They're like three, four quid. Um, but yeah, let's go. You know, see, that's how I do it. I just rub it and then let it kind of come off. But yeah, didn't work earlier. But yeah, I thought I'd waffle it, because literally I was contemplating opening these five for a long time. But I thought, let me just do it on camera. Then it's more justifiable plus you know I me mean? when i get bored i just want to open some packs I'm trying to get more charizards i think i'm on six seven six or seven i sent off one to ace and then i have some here uh you know what if we still if the video is not too uh, too long i'll show you the charizard count at the end of this one so you got a little tree i'll show you how many charizards we got but nothing there i'm trying to get the darkness of blaze charizard out of the darkness of blaze packs out of celebrations i still haven't got that vmax charizard out of darkness of blaze opening some celebrations obviously we have the charizard already but i want to get it out like celebrations that'd be awesome but oh yes one of the starters a venusaur and the centering on this one looks pretty cool so 
let's go yeah nice nice we'll add that to the collection these, these are going too cheap i think on top of my head 15 17 18 pounds these um venusaur and blastoise goes for so i'd rather keep it if they go for that much um but yeah i've kept like i've already obviously i kept them in my collection i got like three but uh, I may as well keep more if they're going for so cheap, you know what I mean? It's not worth selling. It's an awesome card, and I, I know I'll regret it in the future selling so many of them. But yeah, Venusaur here. Uh, let's go. So that one we did pretty good. So let's see if we can make profit per tin. So first tin, I think we broke about even with the V Max and the V, maybe just under after shipping the fees. This tin right now, we're definitely in the profit. Uh, with uh, the Venusaur, so let's see what we've got here, hopefully another classic collection, nothing there and nothing there, so profit in tin number two from that one, but yeah, I am probably won't list it, mm, I might get some more mini tins and do this title, I don't know what I'm going to title it, maybe I will title it, can you make profits from mini tins, uh, but yeah, let's go, but I won't put the prices there, I'll just do it from top of my head, because you guys know, I know probably most of the prices, from the top of my head, uh, just because I sell a lot of the singles I don't need. I have, apart from the, I've sold a lot apart from Mew, Golden Mews and Charizards because I keep all of them. I did sell one of my Golden Mews. I had one that was damaged straight out of the pack and I thought, yeah, I may as well sell it. Sell it for good price, like like £10 under the mint price. And yeah, that one sold as well. But Clink, Toxapex and Dracozolt. So nothing out of Darkness of Blaze once again. But hopefully we can get something good out of this. But yeah, watch the case video, that one was pretty good. But why but tell? Ooh, Profess Impress uh Tongue Twister there. Imposter Professor Oak. So boom, let's go. Yo. Alright, come on, we need um a big classic collection hit. Something over five, seven, eight pounds to break even on this one. Oh, no classic collection there. So this one was a stinker. We got about two, three pound card, meaning we're negative seven plus shipping and fees, probably negative, I don't know, nine, negative. Well, one pound, two pound after fees and shipping. So yeah, we lost about eight pound on that tin. But uh, can we overall be in profit? Because you know what? From the mini tins, I think overall I'll probably be in profit with the, the amount I pulled, the Charizards, the, the, the Umbreons, all the, the amount of cards I pulled from the mini tins was actually insane, so come on, let's go. Four from the back. Still Darkness Ablaze, we haven't had a hit out of three tins, guys, so hopefully in this one our luck will change. But yeah, I think the only mini tins opening I've done is the case, I've opened a case of eight, but Fluffy and Melmetal, come on, bruh, nothing... Darkness of Blaze at all. So yeah. And then the rest were just off camera. I've, I've opened so many. It's unbelievable how many I've opened off camera. But Surfing Pikachu again. A bit left to right centering on this one. A little bit. Not too bad though. But yeah. Let's go put that there. Now we need like a classic collection hit. So let's go. Cosmonium. Oh no classic collection. And we have Mew. So nothing in that one. And final meeting. So that one, we just had the surfing Pikachu about three to four pounds. I reckon about three pounds now. Minus shipping and fees. Let's say about two pound card. Minus eight on that tin as well. So yeah, I think overall not in profit. But I don't know what I'm gonna title it. I might title it as making a profit video and hopefully. Yo, look at this. It was stuck in like the crim there. Yo, that was a bit mad. Let's open that celebrations pack first. Hopefully the cards are alright. Believe they should be. Oh, I see something shiny here. Let's go. Gardevoir EX with the Zamazenta. And I believe, yeah, the card wasn't damaged there. So pretty cool. I do love the Gardevoir EX. I want to keep more of them. Very, I just want to keep more. I think one profit here. This one's like a £14, £15 card. Maybe about £10 at the most. Or the lowest, I mean, was Zamazenta V. So already in profit there. So let's go. But obviously, it's not always about profit. Sometimes... Just have fun, you know, just have fun doing it. So yeah, let's go, let's see what we've got here. Oh, I see something. What could it be? Oh, oh, wrong set. 
I thought we opened this for celebrations. Um, but yeah, I think we got something nice here. Let's go. Hopefully it's a banger. Last Darkness Ablaze pack. We haven't got any Darkness Ablaze hits so far. More little wiggly stuff and a Crobat V full art. This one used to be like £50 on release day because of the playability. People were going absolutely insane. I probably have £14, £15 cut. Maybe with the uh, Shining Fates one. Because obviously the shiny version is the same card. The same ability and stuff. Uh, probably worth about less than a tenner. Uh, but yeah. Crobat V full art. Nice card to pull at least. Something nice to see. And then final one. Can we get a uh, hit in every single tin? Let's go. Dialga, Ooh, Zekrom, and Soljalio. You know what, guys? I literally have two tins left. I haven't been buying any more. I've seen these online and like local stores. I've been tempted to buy more of them. But I know me being here, like, I'm just going to open them. You know what I mean? I've kept the sealed case for myself. Uh, luckily, it was sealed. Otherwise, I'd be opening it but yeah i think we're just gonna open seven in total those are my last seven i ordered eight on nintendo's website so they sent me like a uh, nintendo shop if you don't know they sell pokemon cards as well and we posted the links to pre-order them on them uh back when a few months ago so yeah i thought let's open these just a mini tin opening really it's not even a five mini tin opening anymore to seven but yeah I know I'm probably going to open them during the week off camera, so like I was mentioning earlier, may as well just slap it in here and just document it, because doing a 2 tin opening would be pretty rubbish, but Dracozolt Hollow. Alright, come on, let's see what we got here. Groudon, ooh, Lugia, what's that in the back? Okay, Flying Pikachu, so we need to get like a classic collection here or something uh, to get our profit. So yeah, since we're opening these two tins, I won't show you my current counts for celebrations. Probably save it for another video, but Cosmog, oh, Flying Pikachu regular V. So definitely not in the profit or not got our money's worth here. Obviously, it's not all about profit. I thought I'd just give it like a, some video, some context or uh, like, you know, like I just have something different just rather than opening. Can we make profit? You know, most of you guys like it because you're spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth on products. Can, do you get that back in pools? You know what I mean? That's why I always want to aim to try and pull like my money's worth. Otherwise, I'm just losing money every single time, which is pretty much what is happening. But nonetheless, always having fun opening. But yeah, let's go. This card looks a lot lighter. I don't know if the card captures, I mean, the camera captures it. But let's see if that's different. I don't know what to see. You can tell from the backs if it's hollow or not. But that did look a lot, lot lighter than the other one. So Torchic, Toxapex, and oh, Leopard. So nothing special there. Now, our last celebrations packs let's go palkia Ooh, dialga and lunala absolutely nothing there and then final one now was it worth opening these on camera or not we're gonna see now so why tell xerneas there we go banging so double pikachu hit so boom let's go surfing pikachu let me know what you think of overall pull rates is this better than uh etb was that seven packs, 14 packs of celebrations here? Was this better than an ETB or a Zacian box, Charizard box? Is this better than mini tins? Have they been better than other products? Let me know in the comments, guys. Centering looking pretty decent. I'll, I'll stick this one in the collection as well. Let's see. Boom, we got some Bulba Pro semi rigid Guys, use the Bulba Pro code in the description if you want to buy some Bulba Pro. Shout out to them for always hooking me up on the semi rigids uh, But yeah, guys, that is the 17 opening. And it turned out to be five. But I had seven, that's literally my last mini tins, and I'll probably refuse to buy any more unless I go some in the store and I'm bored and I'm like, oh, let me grab one tin. I probably won't buy a bunch anymore. So, just because I've opened so much celebration and I've got so much other products and more products still to come, waiting on collectors' chest at the time of recording. So, guys, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.